Thank you, Janet. I do feel a little bit of an interloper in this, but I'll try not to detain you for too long. Um, this poem um, is uh, in 20 parts with a uh, 12-line section. I'm not going to read all of them by any means. Um, it's after, as they say, a painting by a 20th century Italian uh, painter called Ottone Rosai, um, and, uh, which is a painting called Via Leonardo. He did a lot of versions of this particular scene, um, which shows li really little more than what the title of the poem is, An Empty Street. Um, and I've tried to populate the street in various ways, so, a lot of it, so it's obviously a lot of it is, is made up. What is there to an empty street? And one so commonplace, narrow, with two high walls bending out of view. No one in sight, and no one expected. No dame trot, for sure, with her basket over her arm, the check cloth covering dainties, her hatch perched so, her pince-nez expectant. Even she has hurried away. What is there to an empty street? The photo, bottom right, color curated later, shows the doorway to have been your studio. There's a plaque. Still no one to see. Have they tiptoed round another way, anxious to preserve its vacancy for you and leave your lines so carefully set forth intact? What is there to an empty street? Let's get impatient. Let's add a soundtrack somewhere beyond but coming on this way. We'll have a marching band, cornets, clarinet and big bass drum. At least the air is moving. Until we lose control, the band has wheeled away. You or the street has won again. What is there to an empty street? Have you seized it for your melancholy? Shushed and deterred all would-be passers-by, your neighbours, even understanding friends, emptied them out like plums from a paper bag and then folded and re-creased it as you have it now. What is there to an empty street that you will not let it go? There is no blood, robbery or impiety open to the view, no spectacles required to see what can be seen. Not even for certain what I've called your melancholy. So you leave me here, just as you meant to do, watching the street. What is there to an empty street? Is it one of those secret worlds with metaphysics skulking in the walls, that door so enigmatic? Maybe there is something we might wish to see face to face, to be chased from the shadows or shaken from the trees. But we never. These workaday walls are still the only splendor to be seen. What is there to an empty street? This time there is a tree, like a fright wig, looming above the wall. The street is embarrassed. The wall hides itself in shadow. The corner beetles off to its secret lodging. The tree allows two points of light, like puppet's eyes, to hold and behold the bluish scene. What is there to an empty street? With this one there is the future, possibly, which is always curving out of sight, naturally, out of sight. But no one wants to see it, which is why you are alone and invisible save for what you see, what you can't help but see, the thickening light, and whoever has gone before and had to leave you here. What is there to an empty street, the bruise of the dark corner as it fades, the antiquity of your painstaking lines, verticals and horizontals, such composure, nice, but how I'd love to drive a barrel hoop down your street, ruddy and exulting, a boy of nine again. What is there to an empty street? Might it as well be dead nature, 
like a glass of juice, a cherry and its shadow, sometimes a cruet. Dead nature with its auspices, even the tree is motionless and dumb. Look how stock still you will come to be.